BioFire Fireworks is a cloud-hosted application that provides a centralized data management portal for the BioFire systems. This video will guide you through navigating the Fireworks user interface and introduce you to some of the key elements of Fireworks. Fireworks is a web-based application that can be accessed through a dedicated web address that is custom to your institution. Enter the email and password associated with your Fireworks account and click Login. Once logged in with your email and password, you will also need to enter a time-based one-time password from your multi-factor authentication app. Refer to the previous video, Fireworks Installation Prerequisites, for information on how to set up multi-factor authentication. On the left-hand side of every page, you will find the navigation menu. This menu allows you to select which workspace of Fireworks that you would like to view. Fireworks is made up of unique workspaces, Dashboard, Tests, QC, Systems, and Settings. For admin operators, you will also have access to two additional tabs, Test Import and Admin. Dashboard provides a high-level overview of the test and systems in all the locations associated with your institution. Dashboard allows you to visualize data based on location and over a period of 24 hours, 7 days, or 30 days. The location and time filters are in the top left corner of the dashboard, above the dashboard cards. Location and time filters, once selected, are applied to all cards on the dashboard. You may select or deselect a location by clicking on the corresponding name in the drop-down menu located in the top left of the dashboard. All authorized locations will be enabled by default. You may select a time frame, 24 hours, 7 days, or 30 days, by using the drop-down located next to the locations. You are able to customize the dashboard by selecting Add Cards or Edit Cards in the upper right of the dashboard, which allows you to drag and drop the cards or add and remove cards into your preferred layout. Details about the functionality of each card can be found in the BioFire Fireworks User Guide. Tests displays all tests associated with your institution within a date range defaulted to today's results. If there are no tests to display for the given search criteria, the results grid will show no data. The Test Data Viewer has three main sections, Summary Cards, Search Parameters, and the Results Grid. The test results in the Results Grid are summarized in the Summary Cards at the top of the page for a given search. The cards are Total Tests, valid tests, invalid tests, and running tests. The far right column of search parameters contains filters that allow you to search for tests matching specified criteria. Selecting search will display all test data associated with the filter input. If there are no tests to display for the given search criteria, the results grid will show no data. The results grid displays test results in descending order with the most recent displayed at the top. You can change the sort order by clicking on the column header you would like to sort. From here, you can edit the displayed columns, export test results, or view the details of a test. Selecting the export button above the test results grid will download all tests currently in the results grid to a CSV file, which is compatible with most commercial spreadsheet programs. Clicking on details of any test will allow you to view visual interpretations of the test, run details, and view the report. The QC or Quality Control Workspace will only appear if your institution has a Fireworks Connected Spotfire instrument. The QC workspace lets you quickly determine which pouch lots have gone through your quality control process and what those quality test results are. There are two sections to this workspace, Lot Table and QC Table. The lot table shows all the pouch lots scanned at your institution, including their panel type, 
quality test data, and any associated patient tests. If you want more information about a lot, click on the arrow next to the lot number. This will show you all the quality tests done on this lot, the results, and which system was used for the tests. If you want even more information about the tests, click on Details. The QC table shows all tests done in QC mode for Spotfire systems only. It works much like the Test Viewer workspace, showing all QC tests and related information. The QC table also has a filter similar to the Test Viewers, but it's more focused on QC tests. You can see additional details about each QC test by clicking on Details on the far right of the table. The systems dashboard displays all BioFire systems associated with your institution that you are authorized to see. There are three tabs within the main systems dashboard, Active Tests, Details, and Utilization. Clicking on a module will display any information associated with that module based off which tab you have selected. When a module is selected, the icon will turn gray with a blue border. You can view all modules associated with the system by clicking on the base icon. The active test details show you all the runs that are currently active on the selected system. Active tests display information related to module, sample ID, pouch type, status, completed time, and actions. Utilization shows your selected system's use over time. Test per module shows the number of tests by pouch type performed on a module over time. You can see this data for the whole system or by selecting one or more modules. The Details window shows you all the details associated with the selected system. The Details window shows an entire system by default. However, you can select specific modules by clicking on the corresponding module. To return to a full system view, you must select the base icon underneath the modules. The Self-Test tab is only available when a Spotfire system is selected. This tab displays all self-tests conducted on the chosen Spotfire system and relevant information for each test. To view or download a self-test report, select View PDF on the right side of the table. Admin operators may use the Test Import feature to import historical runs from FilmArray products. Please note that only certain file types may be imported into Fireworks. The file types are database files, anonymous database files, and film array zip files. Selecting new import will allow admin operators to begin the import process. Note that if you leave Fireworks while your file is uploading, the import will be canceled. After the upload portion of the import is complete, it is safe to leave Fireworks. Data will be visible once the full import is complete. A designated admin operator will be set up to manage accounts and perform administrator-specific functions at your institution. The Admin tab is only visible to those accounts that have been assigned as an admin operator. The Admin tab allows admin operators to see the user list associated with their institution, add users that may need access to fireworks, view all pending account requests, and view all locations within their institution. The Settings tab allows you to edit user information such as name, password, and multi-factor authentication settings. Thank you for joining us on this overview of Fireworks. 